Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. And welcome to the Rock Radar. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything podcast and another stoner reaction. Thanks for joining me. First reaction to The Who, although I heard The Who on several occasions, including co-host December on the Rock and Roll Roundtable album review podcast. She reviewed The Who and uh, it was nice because I checked out, a t- I fell in love with the tune uh, and I'd heard the band a couple times and I said, okay, I've heard uh, this song. I heard the Sad But True cover. I heard Wolf Totem. I've heard a couple other songs. Whatever song I heard on the... uh, I can't even remember their album. I'm like, okay, this is actually groovy fucking rock and roll. Cool, uh, heavy fucking music, man. I didn't know if it was... uh, uh, When when you hear something like... At least to me, Mongolian metal or something like that. I was always just afraid it was like gimmicky or something, you know? But they're far from that. They are fucking quality, quality, good fucking rock and roll and metal. And uh, I know that they've done, they had the Blacklist cover album, the Metallica cover album. I reacted to a few of those as well on YouTube. You can check those out. Uh, and I didn't want to do a lot on this because there's just so many versions of songs. I'm just like, at, at some point, you just kind of get over it. But I really thought it would be cool to listen to uh, the cover of Through the Never, which is a really underrated Metallica song from The Who, and see what they do with this one. Uh, I think it could be really, really fun. So let's find out. They, the, I know there's such a thing as the Mongolian throat singing. I don't. I, I know there's a technical term and probably a native term for that, uh, uh, but I don't know what it is. I've probably heard it before. But I think Freddie Mercury, Mercury as well. I've heard ha, heard uh, had the same sort of vocal techniques that like Mongolian throat singers use, which is one reason why he was able to do these fucking insane things that he did with his voice. But uh, uh, it's super cool. The stuff that they had going in and out of there, it was like, it was real haunting, you know, it was like somebody just talking shit in the background is how it sounded in my head, like in a good way. Uh, I don't know if that was how it was intended or not. Um, obviously, obviously there's that language barrier, so I don't know what the lyrics are and I could look at uh translation, but I just, again, I, I'd never listen to, uh, lyrics or check out lyrics. Uh, when I do videos, because I just don't care. I mean, I would assume they're metallic lyrics, because... And 
some sort of violin, probably just a violin. Or the stand-up bassy thing. just first impression so obviously it's a, a, a prisoner of the moment type thing but in that moment you're like man that almost sounds cooler than like the original and that's for me that's saying a lot because i am one of the most gigantic fucking metallica fans you're ever going to meet in your life <laughs> like it's the thing uh but that was almost just the way that they delivered that i'm like that almost sounded cooler than the uh than the original. I'm going to rewind it just a tad bit. Well, yeah, I'll take that all day long and again on Sundays, which is when this is uh, being recorded. Anyway, that, uh, yeah, man, that was super fun. Thanks again to The Who for pulling that off and knocking it out of the park. Again, I, uh, that was, you know, man, in the moment, uh, oh, that could be better than the original. I, uh, will never fully admit that. <laughs> <laughs> probably but uh i can tell you that was a hell of fun listen and uh, i'm glad i did it and i uh, again i've heard the who before um i could take suggestions but i just don't know what i've heard and what i haven't so uh, i'm willing to kind of maybe dive into it if that's a thing if you're willing to put uh, that uh, suggestion in the comments uh so far i've enjoyed the uh, uh, things from the who that I've heard. So I'd be totally down for that. And going down the rabbit hole on patreon.com forward slash we, the number three Smiths. And that link is in the description. So, uh, thanks so much guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. What the hell? Everything.